Hello and welcome to the France 24 interview. Our guest today is Dr. Sasa. He is the envoy to the United Nations of Myanmar's CRPH. It is the committee representing the parliament elected last November, a parliament that has not been able to sit because of the February 1st military coup. Dr. Sasa is a member of the party that won the overwhelming majority in those elections, the National League for Democracy, led by Nobel Peace Prize laureate Aung San Suu Kyi. Aung San Suu Kyi has been arrested by the junta. Dr. Sasa was able to flee the country. He's been charged with treason, and he is with us from an undisclosed location. Thank you very much for being with us. Thank you for having me. Dr. Sasa, on the ground, the situation seems to worsen by the day we've crossed a new threshold with 600 uh, deaths. What's this happening in Myanmar as we speak? I have been on the phones all day long since 1st of uh, February took place of it's no more just military coup. It is military operations against the people of Myanmar. So what's going on is the military armed forces of the country of Myanmar are now declare the war on the people of Myanmar. And they are determined to kill as many as possible and arrest as many as possible and destroy and detain as many as possible. And international community has a very less day. Otherwise, if there's no international action against this military operation against the people of Myanmar, I'm afraid there will be the greatest civil war that we have never seen before. It's not far, it's very close. You're mentioning uh, the word uh, civil war. I mean, this has been, by and large, a peaceful protest movement. We've seen, however, in recent days, uh, people saying we want to defend ourselves, some people uh, actually defending themselves. Are you saying that now the protest movement, in the face of the repression from the military, could become violent because uh, that's the only thing they are left to, with, basically? My people, the people of Myanmar, are peaceful people. Our peaceful movement is stronger than their terrorism. But our people are left with no choice. These military operations by the country armed forces, so-called Tamado, is going from door to door, from house to house, from street to street, from village to village, cities to city, and town to town, and killing unarmed civilians. How do we react when the military armed forces it should be protecting us, the civilians, from any attacker, and now attacking unarmed civilians. It's to which is do or die. It's very dear. That's why we have been calling on international community to come together as international coalitions, to come together as tougher suction, stronger suction, targeted suctions, coordinated sanctions economically and diplomatically and cut off this military general's access to international finance and cut off this military general's access to uh, international weapons market. More weapons they get, they bought more weapons and bullets and kill more people and more money going to the hands of military generals. More people are going to die. We remained peaceful. We committed to non-violence. That's why you will see uh, that uh, Oslo professor, University from Oslo, Norway, have nominated our peaceful movement of CDM to Nobel Peace Prize Committee. That means that our people are committed to peaceful, but military operations against the people of Myanmar is unacceptable. It should be condemned by the world 
community, international community. Otherwise, there will be even genocide. And the world has to stop the another genocide to take place on the face of the earth again. The problem uh, with the international community, or at least the uh, United Nations Security Council, is uh, that you have countries, let's name them, Russia and China, uh, they are unwilling uh, to have more forceful action. We've seen sanctions from countries here and there, but Russia and China do not agree. So no action can be expected from the international community, right? The only option is not... Uh the United Nations Security Council. Of course, China and Russia, uh, they are still supporting these uh, military generals. It's unacceptable. It's uh, bad for China. It's uh, bad for Russia. It's uh, bad for international community. It's uh, bad for India. It's uh, bad for Russia. This chaos that is created by the military generals, this is not Nobody benefits from this military created chaos and killing. No, Russia will not benefit from this killing, this act of terrorism. No one interests of these military generals. So they should come together. Otherwise, they risk the future where they will witness that the weapon that they gave has been used to kill and committed crime against humanity atrocity and ethnic cleanses and even genocide. That will be the time when this country will be blamed. History will charge them harshly if they do not stop supporting these military generals. Of course, we will be asking again United Nations Security Council to call it the vote. They must vote on the resolution. If nine countries vote in favor of resolution, it must go to UN General Assembly. And UN General Assembly has the responsibility to protect the people of Myanmar in this dire situation. Otherwise, it will become the chaos. It's not the interest of China. It's not the interest of India and ASEAN. This unstable of my country will flood thousands of millions of refugees and human Unitarian catastrophe and the deaths of the people and there's the bloodbath coming ahead in the weeks and the months times. So how many dead body is United Nations or international community require for them to take strong action against this military regime? Right. I, I want to get to what happened this Wednesday in uh, London. Uh, the Myanmar military authorities essentially seized control of the embassy in London, leaving the ambassador uh, Kwai Zwar Min locked out of uh, the embassy. Uh, the British Foreign uh, Office uh, condemned uh, those uh, actions, those bullying actions. However, it said it could do nothing because it had been formally notified uh, by the regime. Do you agree that the British authorities can do nothing about that? Or do you think uh, they're being too weak in their reaction to this very serious and rare incident in London? Our ambassador, Cho Suamint, is a legitimate ambassador of Myanmar to Britain. He was appointed as ambassador of Myanmar to Britain on 5th of March 2014 by legitimate government of Myanmar our Sasuji, our foreign minister, and President Uwe Mint. That has to be respected. And it was accepted as credential ambassador by Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth's government. That is international norms and regulations. And we are signatory of 1961 Vietnam Agreement. That means that all international community must respect our norms of international community. This military regime, no one should accept them. They are the killer. They are terrorizing the people of Myanmar. No one should accept these military generals, instructions or letters or anything that's to do with international diplomacy. So therefore, they should reject this military appointment of military attached attached to the British uh, Embassy of Myanmar in London. And it was real military coup 
that took place in London, Myanmar embassy. So this should be condemned by the whole world. And our legitimate ambassador is Mr. Wu Jo. So is it a mistake by the British government to accept this change at the embassy? Do you condemn it? We have made the statements very clear and loud, and it's unacceptable that this uh, military coup will be accepted as legitimate ambassador of Myanmar to Britain. We will never accept that as our legitimate ambassador to Britain. That means that we are elected by the people of Myanmar, for the people of Myanmar, by democratic and free and fair elections. Our voice matters. The people of Myanmar voice matter. We represent the voice and the will of the people of Myanmar. Therefore, no other country have the right to choose our ambassador. They are civil servants. Civil servant is chosen, appointed by democratically elected leaders. That means that these military regimes should not be legitimized by international community. That includes Britain. Of course, no country in the world should legitimize these military actions against the people of Myanmar, not only inside of Myanmar, but also now they are going after embassy to embassy. It is not the military embassy. It is the embassy of the people of Myanmar. It is the embassy of Myanmar. It not belongs to military generals. It belongs to the country called Myanmar. That has to be respected by all international community because we are a country and a people called Myanmar and the people of Myanmar. Embassy in London belongs to the people of Myanmar. It belongs to the, the country of Myanmar. Dr. Sasa, I want to thank you very much uh, for uh, your time and I want to thank you for watching this interview here on Friends 24.